Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, I want to cover something really important, but before I get into it, I just want to let you all know where I've been. I've been busy, which is why you're probably not seeing as many videos. Just been real busy with some real life stuff, but when I have the time, I make these videos. When I have the time or the energy, I make these videos. But today I want to cover something that I really like here. And it's a little utility here. Well, it's more like a portal. And it's something that we're gonna cover and it's called Recipeer. Recipeer, Pete, Recipeer. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. And this is a fight for our very existence. I, I, I like the little portal. I like everything about the site's design, but you know, recently the site has really come into its own and essentially what recipe here is, it's another type of resource when you're building it, when you're essentially thinking about collections and more specifically, I want to focus this video, the beginning of it solely on recipe here because it deserves its own sort of video, but this will also cover the most important thing with recipe here. So, Let's, let's start with what a recipe is. So recipe is essentially by somebody called <laughs> Chef Boyardee, and he's cooking it up. You know what I mean? He's, he's really cooking up a storm. And essentially, he, ooh, okay, we got a dark mode too. Okay, well, I like dark mode now. But what it allows you to do, it allows you to create recipes. And you're probably thinking, okay, like cooking recipes now movie recipes so do you know how there's like websites called like best similar something like this where it's like oh if you like this movie you'll like this movie so while while that might be uh, i was told that that was actually uh, a feature recipe to find best or similar movies the real magic with best similar is is that if in your head you have a list of criteria right and you want to create a list of movies to utilize. And let's say I'm trying not to bring it up, but got to bring it up because it's going to be covered in this video. Plex Beta Manager. And let's suppose you, you're somebody who has Tracked or Letterboxd or one of those third party builders of Plex Beta Manager. And you, you utilize a lot of user lists, right, to essentially create collections. But what if you don't want to use other people's lists and you're a little too you're too busy with life stuff to sit down and start making your own list one by one by one in every website, adding movies, you know, it's not feasible really. So that's where recipe comes in. Mwah, chef's kiss for recipe. Recipe is essentially the, if, if Plex Mata managers, your kitchen, Recipe here is the stock to all your mother sauce foundations. I, 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 I'm going to keep making kitchen puns, but really recipe here will allow us to craft or curate uh, our own lists that, you know, are based on certain criteria. What are those criteria? You might be wondering. Let's blow this up a little bit. So you can see every recipe. It's a very straightforward site. You can view recipes and you can certainly i thought i got banned for a second so the user not authenticated what um you can view recipes that that you create or you could technically look at community recipes now very interesting stuff there's community recipes here uh critics choices i, I think it's cool personally i i, I wouldn't I don't, I don't care for that um not to slam the community recipes but the the power here is creating recipes so what i want to do with recipe here is i want to curate a list of the best science fiction movies of all time and now you're probably saying hey michael surely you can find you could just literally type that in on google find an imdb list from a user find a track list on track.tv or like TMDB list. There's got to be something like a you you know TMDB list, perhaps. Or well, yeah, but again, 
I, I, I don't really want to rely on someone's manual additions to a list. And the, the, the more powerful aspect of recipe is it can source information through directly through APIs of the things that it allows you to customize for, such as Rotten Tomatoes or Metacritic, etc. It's kind of geared in there. So <clears throat> I went ahead and wanted to create a recipe for the best science fiction. So I'm going to pop it just right open and we go to create recipes and pretend I did that. And so when you look at the recipe settings, I, I did the name sci-fi. Okay. And you could put tags here. Uh, you could even share with the community. By the way, great interface on this website. Great interface. Uh, enable items count on every filter update. Yes, yes, I do want that enabled. That way I can see kind of what's what's occurring. And so what I did was I sorted by rating, by genre. And again, sci-fi is a really big, it's like a really big category, right? So for ratings, I said, I want only the user ratings. And, you know, I, I said zero you know, you might want to kick this up a notch. You might want to kick it up to like f at least a thousand. So I'm going to do that right now. See how it says 299 movies selected. So now let's see what happens. How many movies do we get back with at least a thousand ratings of Rotten Tomatoes? Let's see what, what, what occurs here. So it, it, it's doing some intensive operation. Okay. Wow. That <laughs> it really obliterated a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff there. But these are movies with at least a thousand user ratings, okay? In terms of sci-fi. And, you know, it's up to you. And then for rating, I said, okay, it has to be minimum of 80 to 100. Okay, minimum 80 to 100 is what I want. For genre, obviously, include. I did uh, exclude, which shows include and exclude. And I did include, obviously, science fiction and exclude animation now you might be wondering okay are these my only choices well i don't i'm, I'm not too sure on that but what i know is for example for like another one which is keyword i wanted to exclude marvel and superhero movies however when i click this oh okay okay yeah i guess those are all the options so i didn't really realize it's actually compiling everything under the sun because when i typed superhero it kind of gave me this thing superhero family death of a superhero it's not really giving me just superhero so i entered it manually the reason being i just literally looked at a keyword underneath here and then i saw that a lot of the marvel ones just said superhero so i just I obliterated that if you also click this option you can it literally adds it under keyword so if you look it says include movies that feature blackouts etc so we're gonna we're gonna change that so i'm gonna hit exclude include and let's see what i've done here uh well you know it it kind of i already had my list let me bring my list back here we go and there's my list Genre science fiction, exclude animation, ratings of, let's make it at least 100. I don't want to make 1,000. It'll maybe nuke, nuke out too many movies. 100, give or take. Okay, 214. I'm, I'm comfortable with that number. It's not a bad number. And, oh, interesting. We can also do letterboxed. Movies that are letterboxed based. Very cool. So you could add multiple qualifiers. Look at that. This is this is awesome. But for me, just Rotten Tomatoes, genre, science fiction, animation, keyword, include. I just left that alone. Excluding keywords, Marvel and superhero. And then that's it. So I had 214 movies and the recipe name is sci-fi. Uh, one thing that we can do is original languages. So let's say I, I don't want something that's like a Japanese sci-fi. For example, you know, I can definitely exclude out certain languages if I'd exclude. 
and you know, I could type Japanese, Japanese here. I can type, what else can I type? Got to wait for it to crunch out first. So the, the count does enable query performance. So let's do Hindi as another one. I don't want a bunch of Indian ones. I don't think there's a lot, but you never know. And so this is going to remove that. And so let's hit save and let's close it. Now let's take a look at this list here. So automatically I see 28 days later, which is awesome. I see frequency, awesome. And so, yeah, so if it didn't have serenity, I'd, I'd be very, very suspect of it. Uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind? Well, I guess it's science fiction. Not really. But hey, uh, Children of Men, yes. The Prestige, Man from Earth, uh, Transformers. Well, if I wanted to get rid of freaking Transformers, uh, I could probably look at some keywords. Um, uh, probably exclude some themes, right? Robots and androids. Eh, I want to be careful. I might filter out too many movies but we can also do something where we can hit edit i could say title exclude so we're gonna now enable the title function so it's going to now check titles as well and in exclude i can just put transformers so anything with the transformers will not be there let's take a look at the movie count now so yeah, it, it went down by one, meaning it, it, it found just that one Transformers movie. Now, if we look, no Transformers, it's gone. Awesome. Inception, source code. Well, let's take a look. Let's, let's see something here. Is there Interstellar? There's Interstellar. Okay. If it didn't have Interstellar, we have a problem. Guardians of the Galaxy. Well, what the heck? I, this is to be Marvel. So, you know, there's, there's, there's a little thing. Okay. So I should have maybe also included this keyword some, so sometimes certain keywords aren't included and this one, look, this is like a Hindi movie. I can tell and for some reason it's, it's, oh, I should have put, okay. Okay. So this is, you know, Tamil. Let's go ahead and exclude Tamil now as an original language. Let's see how many it removed now. Okay, the one movie. So, Star Trek, Ex Machina, we keep going down. Passage to Mars, Rogue One, Arrival, Blade Runner 2049. So now that we have this recipe, essentially this recipe list of, of our list, we are going to utilize this now. We're going to essentially uh, view my recipes here. And then we're going to essentially, and then here we're gonna hit copy link to the list data. So to the list data like that. Open list data in tab, let's see. Let's see what it does here, okay. Once we load it, we hit copy link to the list data. And then we get essentially this sort of parameter it's with the metadata. Now, once we got that, we're going to open up a template that I created special for recipe. So you can see in this template, I called it template chef with a mapping name chef. I had a default to push it up my list of collections. So I collection section zero, zero bunch of optional tags the name is mapping name movies and the mapping name for the static collection here as you can see defined in line in this yml is best science fiction so the name that's going to be as per collection will be best science fiction movies or whatever sort of thing i'm doing recipe list i put a template variable called recipe and that's going to be defined inside of the template call. So for example, right here, don't do what I did here. I pasted the wrong link. The actual link, you hit the copy button on recipe here, which is way shorter. And then finally we have radar tags set to recipe and science fiction. 
And so lastly, we have the all these uh, definition settings, but they are technically also template variables. They can be both. And so people could, you know, define it in their own template template variables under the their config file if they if they really wanted to. But really, this is meant for like yourselves. Uh, not for you to make it to give it to someone else, but they can certainly, if they know the YML and they've watched my videos, they can also adjust it for them. So here we've given it that recipe or list, which is amazing. And furthermore, we have it set to radar tag, radar add missing, radar folder. Okay. And so by the, but you should probably also do collection order and sync uh, or the other one being, um, uh, sync mode, right? You could define that though. That's defined globally for my library. So I'm not going to bother with that here. So now we're going to go ahead and run the collection here and we can already kind of see that it's created the best genre collection. And now take a look at this. It's automatically grabbing all these movies. Take a look at all of this. It's searched all that list from recipe here and it's adding it to radar so if we check out radar here and let's take a look there look at this automatically all added to radar and you guys this is the power okay this is the power of plex meta manager and in in combination with recipe here for me like it's great and all to have the Plex builders that source from existing library to create collections. But this is really where the magic is for me is the ability for it to build your library. And so that's what's impressive here. And so it's showing Guardians of the Galaxy. And sometimes we have to just kind of remember we have to scan it to just show newer images. Just, you know, if you think the image isn't picking up, always try to do scan library files just to make sure. And here we go best sci-fi movies, best genre collection and favorite studios. And so for right now, all I really have from the list is guardians of the galaxies galaxy. And anyways, guys, just definitely check out recipe or join the discord much needed platform, much needed community. Of course, if you want to manually do your own list, you're more than welcome to, but this is for people who just kind of know that they have a certain criteria and they just want to, put a crap load of movies on their on their radar really quickly and you know then we could come here and you know we can we can definitely start you know getting a little picky here and then we take a look at the tags look the tags say recipe here in science fiction so that's perfect and of course we can then you know also filter filter with inst like this essentially uh, we could filter like that are there any oscar winners no so there's no oscar winners and because there's nothing tagged Oscars on this, but in this test library. But again, this is this is the power, guys. This is the magic of utilizing that. And take a look. It's automatically added 194 movies. How cool? I mean, how just freaking cool is that? Anyways, guys, check out Recipe here. Like a beautiful stew that's been simmering and braising for hours. It makes quick work of just tenderizing everything in terms of your library and just getting it loaded up and it makes it a pleasant experience you don't have to do too much work in the kitchen to cook it up so check out recipe here at recipe here.com it's a great great little tool great little portal love it see you guys on the next one <laughs>